Okay, so we've got a question here. Find the Taylor series for the cotangent function at the point zero. Now, the Taylor series polynomial is calculated using this formula. Now, if we just concentrate on the f of a, f prime of a, and f double prime of a, that's the first and second derivatives in this case, we'll see that we've got cotangent and our point a where we're calculating it is zero. So cotangent of zero. Here our f prime of a will be negative cosecant squared at zero. And this one here is two times the cotangent at zero and cosecant squared at zero. Now, if we look closely at these functions here, for example, the cotangent function, if we have our mark on our x-axis, this is our y-axis, we let this one be pi over two, and this one be pi. The graph comes down from positive infinity, crosses the axis of pi over two, and then approaches pi, but never touches it. So we've got a graph here is a little bit asymptotic at pi and also at zero. So it never really actually equals zero. And the same can be applied on this side as well. So it comes down like this and it repeats every pi, every pi, um, a period of pi. So this term is not um, uh, defined. This term is obviously not defined. And the cosecant function, that is also undefined because cosecant squared would be one over sine squared of zero. Well, sine of zero is zero, so that gives us a one over zero situation. So that's also undefined. So the Taylor series is not going to work. So what we're going to have to look for is something different to the Taylor series. We're going to have to look for something which is called the Laurent series. So let me just write that up in here. So Laurent series. Okay, now in order to find the Laurent series for the cotangent function, so we've got cotangent. Now, Laurent series is always in complex numbers. So the cotangent of z, in order to find an approximation of that using our Taylor series, that's the way we're going to go, we've got cosine of z over sine of z. That's our cotangent of z. Now these two, we know what the Taylor series are. So for cosine, our Taylor series for that one is one minus z squared over two plus z to the four over 24 minus z to the six over 720. And there's our first four terms and that will keep going on and on and on. Now for the sine function, so our sine function is similar to this, but sine is an odd function, so we've got all the odd terms. So we've got z to the one minus z cubed over six plus z to the five over 720, sorry, 120, and then minus z to the seven over 5,040, and so on. And that's our first four terms of this function. So now we can transfer this in terms of Taylor series. So now this is going to give us our approximation. If we divide the two Taylor series by each other, that will give us our way we're going to go forward. So I'll just write them out. So if we're just dealing these first four terms, and then sine on the bottom. Okay, so that is going to give us our approximation for our cotangent function. Now, this looks a little bit intimidating, so we might need to find a better way of writing this. So we could write this with this term 
multiplied by the reciprocal of this term. So let's go on to that now. So I'll just put my approximation symbol here. So I've got room to write this. So now I've got 1 plus z squared over 2 plus z to the 4 over 24 minus z to the 6 over 720. And then I'm going to multiply that by this term. But I need the reciprocal. So z minus z cubed over 6 plus z to the 5 over 120 minus z to the 7 over 5040 and so on. So multiply those two together, that's going to give me a load of terms that's going to define my cotangent for the Laurent series. Okay, now I could just foil this out, but I've got a reciprocal here getting in the way. So we need to concentrate on this a little bit. So I'm just going to write this in here. So we need to do something with this so as we can work with it. Okay. Okay, that's our minus sign. Okay. Now let's factor this z out of here. Let's try that. So if we just take this term off the board. Now, what I've got here, I've got z in every term. So I can factor this out and get a 1 here and bring a z to the front. So now I could have 1 over... Now my z here, take that out, and then have 1, that's factoring out of z, and then drop all the indices by 1. So that's going to give me the same value as I started with. Okay, just concentrate on this term. Okay, so now what I can do is I take this 1 over z out, and then I'm left with numbers here, a bit similar to our cosine uh, terms. So now I've got 1 over z, so what I could do is I could just break this fraction apart and have 1 over z and then multiply by this term here. So now, so now we can try our long division for this. Let's see where that goes. So 1 over 1 minus z squared over 6 plus z to the 4 over 120 minus z to the 6 over 5040. Okay, so let's perform long division on this. So what we can do is now just take that off there, divide everything by 1 and see where we get to. Okay. So using the rules of long division, first of all, use this on this one. So 1 divided by 1 is just 1. Next thing we do is then multiply this 1 by all these terms, write it underneath. So basically just rewrite this here. So 1 minus z squared over 6 plus z to the 4 over 120 minus z to the 6, 5040. That's our long division first stage. First stage. And then what we do is we just subtract this line by this line. So 1 minus 1 is 0. That disappears. That's the first rule. And then we've got imaginary zeros in here. So we could just do 0 minus minus. Here we've got 0 minus and then plus. So here, basically 0 plus z squared over 6. So here I just write z squared over 6. Here we've got 0 minus plus, basically just change the signs. So minus z to the 4 over 120 plus z to the 6 over 5040. Okay, next, z squared over 6 divided by 1, positive z squared over 6. So that's good. Now that one multiplied by all of these terms on here. So now we'll end up with 1 times z squared over 6. That's just z squared over 6. Multiply these two together. They give me z to the 4 over 36 and a minus sign. This one and this one 
give me z to the 6 and 6 times 120 is 720 and it's a positive 720 and then this one times this one that's going to be quite a large number so z to the 8 and then 6 times 5040 that's okay now what we do is now draw a line under here and now subtract so z squared over, z over 6 minus this one that's going to leave me with 0 this one minus this one but this one here is a minus as well so now I've got minus 1 over 120 so just get the coefficients and then I'm going to add 1 over 36 okay so let's get that in the calculator see what we've got there that's 7 over 360 so that's going to give me positive 7 over 360 and that's a z to the 4. Okay, next one here, I've got, taking my coefficients, I've got 1 over 5040, minus a plus, so it's then minus 1 over 720. So, minus 1 over 840. And that's z to the 6. And then zero minus this one, that's going to leave that as a positive. Okay, so now this term divided by one just gives me that term. So now I've got plus seven z to the four over 360. Okay, now multiply that by all these terms. Again, I've got seven z to the 4 over 360 multiply this one by this one that's going to give me 7 z to the 6 and that's sort of a positive it's going to be negative and my denominator 360 times 6 2160 and then z to the 4 times z to the 4 here so I've got 7z to the 8 it's going to be a positive number and my denominator is 360 times 120 43 200 okay again let's subtract these off so now they're going to disappear and now I've got this one here so I've got minus 1 over 840 Minus minus, that's a plus, 7 over 2160. So the 31 over 15,120. And our eighth term, and then this term here, our fractions are going to start getting a little bit out of control. So I'm just going to leave that. So I'm going to leave it now as z to the 6. So now up here I can now add 31z to the 6 over 15,120. And that's our polynomial long division for that fraction there. So now I'm going to write that down on a separate bit. So we just take this one off the board as well. So I'm going to leave that there. And now we're ready to start doing our long uh, a long multiplication to work out our Laurent series. So remember what our cotangent was. Cotangent of z equals cosine of z times uh, 1 over sine of z. And that was what we had for our 1 over sine z. Now remember we took out a 1 over z, so we need to put that back in as well. So cosine of z is this one. Let's just give us a bit of room here. We're going to need a lot of room. 1 minus z squared over 2 plus z to the 4 over 24 minus z to the 6 over 720. And now we're going to plug that one in. So we have our 1 plus z squared over 6 plus 7z to the 4 
over 360 plus 31z to the 6 over 15,120 and then don't forget our 1 over z at the end. Okay, uh, that's a big thing to foil out there. So let's start from the beginning. Let's start with the 1. So 1 times 1, cool, that's great, that's 1. So now I'm going to put a big bracket in this and at the end I'm going to divide everything by z. So I've got a 1. So let's concentrate on this one first and distribute that with all of these terms. So 1 times all of those. So that's going to be plus z squared over 6 plus 7z to the 4 over 360 plus 31z to the 6 over 15,120. Now we're going to find this up to the sixth term, so we're just going to stick with anything past uh, anything up to z to the six. Anything past six, we're going to discard as cotangent here. This is our approximation. Okay, so now we've done that one. Let's distribute this one. So minus z squared over two. Remember. So now we've got multiply that by one minus z squared over two. Multiply these two together, we're going to have minus z to the 4, and then 6 twos are 12, so that takes care of that. This one now with this one, so now we're going to get 7z to the 6, and it's still a minus. And then 2 times 360, 720. Okay, so we're just staying up to the sixth term. So if we multiply that one and that one, we'll get the eighth term. We don't want that. Okay, now let's deal with this term. So I'm going to need to come down here. So this one times this one, that's going to be, actually I'll write it here, I've still got room here, plus z to the 4 over 24. That one and that one. So that's plus z to the 6. And 6 times 24 is 144. So that takes care of that. So that takes me up to the sixth term. And now this one, just with this one. So that's just going to be minus z to the 6 over 720. Okay. So close off and still multiplying by our 1 over z. So now let's get some like terms together. So again, this is where our fractions calculations is going to come in. So 1 just stays, that's all we've got there for 1. So our squared terms, so z squared to the 6th, so plus z squared, and then we've got 1 over 6 minus a half. So that's the coefficient there for our z squared. So let's just cross them off as we've done them. Next term we want is our z to the 4. So our coefficient for that one is going to be 7 over 360. Minus 1 over 12. And then we've got another one here, which is plus 1 over 24. Okay, now our z to the 6, this is going to be our last term. So cross them off that we've done. So we've got 31 over 5, 15,120. That's that one. Minus 7 over 720. That's that one. And we've got this one here, 1 over 4, 144. And then minus 1 over 720. And again, this will all be multiplied by 1 over z. So I'm going to stick my 1 over z out front this time. But now I need to tidy up my coefficients. So now we're almost ready to give us our answer. So 1 over z, 1 plus, let's work out our coefficient for z squared. So we've got... 1 over 6 minus 1 over 2, that gives us minus 1 third. 
So that's going to give me negative z squared over 3. OK, next let's work out this coefficient. 7 over 360 minus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 24. That's minus 1 over 45. So that's minus z to the 4 over 45. OK, this one here, that looks pretty intimidating. Perhaps do a little shortcut here. I've got minus 7 over 720 and minus 1 over 720. I can just put that in as a minus 8. So let's do that. 31 over 15, 120, minus 8 over 720, plus 1 over 144. That gives me minus 2 over 945 as my coefficient. So minus 2z to the 6 over 945. OK, so all that's left now to do is just to divide through by z and that's going to give me my answer. So cotangent of z is approximately, justified through by z, 1 over z. This one here is going to give me minus z over, not squared, z over 3, minus z cubed over 45, and then minus 2z to the 5 over 945. OK, and that is how we found the cotangent for or the Lorentz series of cotangent 